Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another review on the new team of the season, Gerard Moreno card. We're going to go through the card digital stats, clips and summary. But before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below what your thoughts are on this card and how cheap he is. And now let's get into the video. So guys, getting to Gerard Moreno's uh, review here. And this is the thing I played him in. I, of course, played him in that striker spot, in the 4 2 3 one in that top spot. And overall, guys, my first impression is this card it's an okay card guys and i think what we have to bear in mind with this card is we have to take it with a pinch of salt this is only a 50k card now for 50k i think this card is tremendous value and i really do think he's worth it as well and he does he did really well for me as well guys so let's just get into the review gerard moreno 511 high medium work rates left footed three star skill moves four star weak foot seven games played eight goals scored and one assist now guys all of this is really nice except for those three star skill moves if that was one higher that'd be great for you skillers out there i do feel like though it's more important for me as well to have that four star weak foot at least then he can finish on both feet whether it's right or left foot and actually guys it was a big part of how this card played was how well he was able to finish on both of those feet in terms of the chemistry style guys i tried the engine on him and i tried the finisher on him and actually guys i think i preferred the finisher honestly because it just made him more clinical up front uh, as opposed to really boosting parts of his card which weren't really fixable in terms of the attribute details guys the key pros of the card 96 finishing is absolutely phenomenal uh, and then his passing is really good as well guys i was really surprised about that uh, he was able to link up the play very well his passing was really good really well weighted too and his physicality stats are really good as well his strength is a lot higher than what that would have you believe uh, he's very strong uh, able to hold off any number of defenders that you can think of so he did really well in those departments too in terms of the cons of the card guys his speed is a big one and i think even with an engine i did struggle because acceleration and sprint speed doesn't quite get lifted to that level you want it to the agility and the balance are also cons of this card uh, and i feel like as well guys the long shots and the shot power need a bit of helping of a helping hand too now if it was a little bit more favorable towards agility and the reactions and ball control were a little lower then a maestro would be the perfect way to boost this card however because it is the agility i went with the finisher just to give him that extra shot power and to help him out on the agility side of things in terms of the player traits guys he's got the finesse shot trait and the outside of the foot shot trait which are both lovely traits to have in a striker and now that we've covered that let's get into some of the clips that i got with him so guys getting into some of gerard moreno's clips and what you guys are going to see is his general striker play and how well he did for me in that striker role considering the price on this card now that's something of key we're going to consider throughout this review but let's just get into the stats the first thing his pace now his pace isn't elite uh, you guys know that off the bat with this card he's generally a little bit of a bigger striker that will kind of trend towards him being a little slower however guys he is still a very good striker has the pace once you can kind of get in behind those defenders you can hold them off with the strength as well he's able to get in behind and then make those runs like this here where he's in behind the defender and now all of a sudden you have an opportunity to finish off a chance of them a poor pass from figo unfortunately but he does have that pace in there in terms of his dribbling guys he is quite stiff however he does have really good strength and balance more so than what the card would have you believe so it allows you to turn quite well hold off defenders quite well and create opportunities off the spin as well which is really nice in a big man striker too in terms of his passing i was thoroughly impressed with this guys now this isn't just because i don't expect most strikers to be able to pass but this striker actually passed better than again what his card would have you suggest have you believe uh it passed to a really good level able to make really lovely passes like this one here right through the gap it's a beautiful pass there and over and over guys he was doing that again and again and i love that about this card that he was able to link up the play so well in terms of his general physicality guys which we'll get into now i think his physicality is really good and we've mentioned it throughout the review so far is that generally his physicality is pretty decent he's able to hold off defenders well use that body size as well although it doesn't seem as big he does have very good strength he's very good at heading as well he's able to win a lot of headers he's able to get in there in amongst the big guys and win a lot of challenges too so overall i feel like this physicality was a really big part of why this card played well he was able to move well with the ball uh, able to dribble well uh, and then use that physicality too to be able to bully his way past challenges when he needed to like you've just seen there 
The final thing we'll talk about, guys, is his shooting. Now, his shooting is really is decent. Uh, I wouldn't say it's really good. Um, he's able to finish chances inside the box with that left or right foot. Um, he's got good finishing, especially from close range. From distance, guys, he lacks the shot power and the long shot stats to be able to do that. However, overall, guys, I would say you don't need to worry about that too much because he is so capable inside that box. Once you get him in that box, header, left foot, right foot, doesn't matter, no feet, he'll score all the chances you give him. And overall, guys, I think that was probably the most important thing about this card was that he was able to do that for me. As we get into more of these final few clips, guys, you're just going to see more of the same. Again, his lovely finishing in these bottom corners, in the top corners as well. He's able to finish all the chances off that, are, that you need him to be able to finish off. Simple uh, enough finishes as well. But sometimes, guys, that's the most important things because strikers need to be able to finish off the simple chances as well as the more difficult ones. And for me, guys, that's so important in how we see this. In these final couple of clips, a lovely volley here actually in the box. And in this final one, a lovely little bit of skill here to get past the defender. Uh, and then a lovely chip over the goalkeeper as well into the back of the net. So guys, getting into this Gerard Moreno summary, 56k on the PlayStation, 53.5 on the Xbox, and 64 on the PC. Getting into the key stats, guys, the finishing is really good on this card, and I feel like his positioning is good too. Uh, I do feel like there's elements in this card that are very good, that are understated on the card. For example, his strength is really understated. I felt like he was super strong and capable on the ball as well, able to hold off defenders with real ease. In terms of a chemistry style, guys, an engine is a good one for him. Now, it gives him all the elements you'd want to boost in the striker card, like this one, the pace, the uh, agility, and the and of course, the, the balance as well, and then the passing element too, just to make his link-up play a little better. You can, of course, go different ways with this card of, uh, as well. A hunter would be another good way to go. That does boost his shooting and his pace a re to a really good level. It doesn't take his long shots up, though, so it really does make him lethal only inside the box. Uh, you could look at something that boosts his dribbling a little more, say something like a finisher that takes him to a really good level of finishing and makes him a good dribbler as well, guys. So that could be an option for you in terms of how this card plays. In terms of similar players, guys, this card has a lot of similar style of players. Uh, he plays very much in a similar mold to a Karim Benzema card. Not this one, of course. Maybe a similar one to that, a lower rated one. There doesn't seem to be one on this list, guys. But maybe the 80... Not the 89, sorry. The 90 Benzema. Very close card to that as well in terms of how he plays. Uh, not the quickest of strikers, but definitely capable in terms of being able to do everything a big man striker should be able to do. In terms of linkability, guys, he's of course got perfect links to Parejo and Albiol cards in there as well. Uh, strong links to other Spanish players across La Liga, of which there are many, and they've just been released. Spanish icons in there as well, of course. Uh, and then there's a bunch of flashback players in there. Loads of nice, nice SBCs, loads of good stuff in there. In terms of the price, guys, now, it baffles me with these TOTS cards. Now, I know this card will be the most pulled card out of all the TOTS cards. I know as well that this card isn't necessarily the best card, but 56k, uh, comparing to some of these players that are in here as well for that same price, I think this card really is worth it. I think it's a fantastic card for the value that you're getting. And if you're putting together a cheap La Liga team, that leads me into my final recommendation. I would say this card is decent for it. I think you'll get good value out of this card. You'll get good enjoyment out of this card. You're able to build a reasonable team around him that will be able to supplement his striking style. He is a big man striker, so using that to your advantage will be key to getting the best out of this card. But I scored reasonable goals with him, guys. You've seen that from the clips. He is a capable goal scorer in the box. So for me, guys, worth it for 56k. Really don't see too much downside to this card, other than, of course, the obvious factors, which we mentioned earlier in the review. So again, guys, that is my recommendation on that one. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please do smash that like button. Until next time, I will see you all in a bit.